Hey yo, welcome back to Nunderson, everybody. So we're gonna see what these fragments create from Juice's mod. Juice the Juice mod, Justice's mod. They should make some amazing throwing weapons for our boy right here. Stardust grenades. Uh, we'll, we'll worry about the passive. So Stardust grenades. We'll do two at a time. This one makes Nebula grenades. Are they all grenades? I don't know. We're about to see. Stardust. I should, I should just type in grenade. Let's type in just grenade. Uh, they all make grenades. All right. Well, we figured that out pretty pretty easily. Let's uh, shove these in here just in case we need those for any of them, which we do. But you never know when we'll run out. We got like almost a hundred of each. Good enough. Good enough. So vortex. Boom. We got a hundred. We got a hundred eleven. We'll make two of each. Because 200 should be more than enough. I have a feeling I might actually be using these. Honestly. Solar. Nebula. Alright. We're going to toss the Great Lance in here. Because we don't, we definitely don't use that. And let's see. Let's see. So star, uh, Nebula does create a Nebula upon impact. Let's see if we can. Okay. Uh, launches Daybreaks upon impact. Okay, okay. Create stardust cells that chase down enemies upon impact. That thing is still there. All right, boom. Not bad. That one seems like the best. Release homing vortex missiles on impact. Okay. And I kept that one. So let's. Uh, we don't need to test it out on our boss. We don't need to test it out on our boss. Instead, well, actually, no. We are gonna test it out on our boss because we gotta fight the cultist. So let's do it. Let's run that cultist fade. Uh, I can just hit all of them, I guess. You're welcome for the quick death, by the way. Oh, I wanted to hit him with that shit so badly. All right. We're just going to throw all these nades at him. I feel like, let's use this one, because I feel like this is going to be the strong one. I mean, it's not bad damage. I feel like there's a cap on how many Stardust guys spawn. So probably isn't that strong because of that. This one. Ha, I got him. You got him with that laugh. That. Ha. Hey, chill out. All right, you're actually kind of hurting me a little bit. I'm just playing around. I'm testing new weapons. You're over here tryharding. I can't even see you half the time. You're on my team. I don't know why I try to shoot him. Get out of here. Those homie shots aren't that bad, though. Oh, God. Uh, nebula pillar. You know, we got to use the nebula grenades then. That's just how it's going to be. Where's the pillar? Right above me? Really high up in the air for some reason. Let's see if the cultist... Is that a cultist? Let's see if that one guy dies. We're going to buff. Because I'm going to die. Might as well make my death not that soon. By buffing. Is this healing me? No, use this. Use, like, anything that gives me healing and we're good. We'll get a lot of healing from it. Oh, yeah. Two per, like, come on, is that not a lot of healing? Am I tripping right now? No, I'm not, because I got good shoes on. But I don't actually have shoes on, because who the hell wears shoes in their own home when they're not doing something that requires shoes to be worn? And then there's going to be those people in the comments like, what do you mean, you don't wear shoes when you're at home? I wear shoes when I sleep. And gonna be like, I thought that was a regular thing. And now because I said that, they're going to do it. I know how you guys work. What's going on? Why oh, my game just freeze? The game just froze. All right, the pillar has revealed thyself. I don't know why it's so high up in the air. Oh, wait, use these ones. Stardust. These things will do damage. No, I'm falling. Get back up there. I need some better wings, man. I think we're close to the Seraph Tracers, so we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. Who else is still alive? You? You get some of that homing stuff. All right, let's grab this stuff. I might have to switch to OBS mid recording. Um, because Fraps is doing that shit where it doesn't want to be something that I use. It might be partially my fault the fact that I record on the same driver that I play the games on. But I only have one hard drive. Well, no, I have two, but the other hard drive has like 100 space. 100 gigabytes of space open. So I like don't, don't want to use it there. I mean, I, no, I'm going to switch real quick. All right, I'm very sorry that two pillars were cut out when I switched two or three. I don't even know. However many pillars were cut out, 
maybe even lunatic cultist was cut out i recorded with the obs it was the most choppiest chop choppiest and laggy stuttering the audio was like skipping i don't know why but i'm very sorry that that part's gonna be cut out it didn't matter that much pretty much i killed the two pillars and i said dumb shit like usual hey we're gonna make some meldy eight bars uh because we have the melding material is that what it's called meld blobs i don't know how many we're gonna make you know 30 sounds like that's good enough and then we gotta make this stuff and it's called xerox I mean, why are you making this stuff boom wings boom pitchfork okay the pitchfork i didn't even know about but i saw it so might as well use it oh nice little flame it has some of that oh <laughs> so uh i also need to make a moon lord base moon lord base moon lord arena we're gonna reforge these these should bring us up really high hold up let's just check how high these get us up because we want to be flying against the moon lord because i'm not going to make anything in the arena where uh this brings us almost to space or pretty much brings us to space i don't want to make anything where uh I, it blocks the lasers because i don't plan on really trying that hard to block lasers but uh we'll see let's see how high these bring us i feel like these have less acceleration definitely more flight time like we almost we pretty much made it to space with all our flight time intact but uh i'll be right back just wanted to tell you what happened to all the pillars and footage that happened I'm currently recording on my other hard, hard drive the one with 100 gigabytes open uh and the one that keeps all my program files on it so this is this is a good idea all right the last pillar is open we're just gonna end the pillar pick up its goodies and then there's moon lord time my favorite time let's get over here let's go heal actually we don't really need to heal i think we'll just self heal yeah whatever thanks for the 19 health appreciate it let's do it can we get this guy should we recruit him you want to be recruited all right well i don't have 10 gold on hand so head back to our arena i grab onto that head back to our beautiful arena over here it's just long asphalt road that's really all you need against the moon lord honestly maybe i should get rid of this i feel like this might get in the way no problem just quick quick 10 seconds gone all right come on moon lord it's about to be on it's about to be on i right, break that put that back up here i'm ready i'm ready Alright, we're gonna run this. We're gonna run this Moon Lord fade. We're gonna use probably this. Actually, I should get a couple of these in here. We probably won't mess around much though. We wanna kill the Moon Lord. We don't wanna We don't wanna deal with anything against him. Go for that big eye. And then throw a couple of kunai's in there since we are landing the uh, Since we're landing the this <laughs> the scythe. Quantum Breaker, that's what it's called. Alright. Now we'll use this for his big eye. Boom. Oh. Oh. Dude, I don't like that he still shoots the laser even after you take out his eye. It's kind of weird. It's very suspect. Alright. And then we're going to just throw these at his heart and hope he dies. So we can mess around now. Actually, let's use this. Let's use this as the finishing blow. Alright, there you go. Moon Lord. Done. Nice and easy. I knew it wasn't going to be that hard, but I also didn't want to mess around. I could have messed around, but I didn't want to. Moonlight has been defeated. Profane flames blaze blazes fiercely. Cosmic terrors are watching. The bloody moon beckons. The curse of Eldritch consumes you. Something, something about eating ass. I don't know. It's 2018. Come on now. We lick ass. Oh, I didn't mean to kill that squirrel. All right. So we did it. The moon is dead. We get an extra slot from the celestial onion. Or we're supposedly supposed to. Oh, there you go. They actually give us to give it to us. Sometimes I have to uh, add it in via cheat sheet, but that time it gave it to us. Celestial blossom, boom. That adds in a bunch of ores. If you guys didn't know, we just got a cursed relic. Not a cursed relic, a cursed relic, which gives us our next throwing armor set. So we do need to fight the Moon Lord again. 
Is this as a throwing weapon? Orb of Omicron. From what I remember, that thing is ass. Ooh, we got the Sonic Amplifier. Dude, that's such a good weapon. Sell it. We got Hurtful SDMG. I think we should keep this, yeah. Because we get to transform stuff. If we ever need to transform anything, boom, bada, bing. There you go. Soul of Lumite. Wow. Some goodies we can make here. We need Luminous Energy, though. The hell is that? I don't know what that is. Let's look at everything. We don't want to miss something. It's a Quasar Sigil. That's obviously what we want. Mm, moon Emblem. Call upon the Revenge. Okay, so I think this is some the spawning in the pillars. Obsidian Core. Summon the Guardian of the Flame Raised Forest. Does that mean... I know there's a biome from Sacred Tools that we're supposed to be seeing. Like a fire biome. I don't know if that's now. It probably should be now because of a post-moon lord. Any throwing weapons? This one right here. This weapon right here. If I remember correctly, this weapon is insane. Let's try and make it. We're going to make that and we're going to end the episode off. Throne Skybreaker. Alright, boom. We pretty much have everything. I just made the uh, solar eruption in Daybreak. Bam. Now this weapon, from what I remember, is insane. Dash off these pitchforks. They just do like a lot of damage. Curse flames too. But we don't need them. So let's get rid of them. Same thing with these. We don't need it. Boom. New weapon in hand. Let's probably reforge it and be smart. We have an extra spot now too. Forgot about that. Uh, sh nah, unpleasant ain't good enough. Come on. Sighted? Eh, we can do better. Godly, there we go. Sighted might have been pretty good. Hold up, we gotta test it down here, man. That may look like nothing right now. But uh, let's whip out a boss. And we'll test it out on a boss. Hmm. No, I gotta do the boy Atlas. That's my boy. He's either Atlas or Ravager. Wait, he's gonna be up there now. Ow! Make it rain. Go ahead, let it rain. Oh my god. Like, there's so many swords falling to this guy. This shit broke the audio. But yeah, we're gonna end off this episode here. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be in the next episode, or maybe during a live stream, I'll fight the Moon Lord again to get all the stuff I need, and uh, I will see y'all next time.